Hey Grizzlies, I'm Ijana. And I'm Melissa. And, and you're, you're watching School Events. Events. Today we will be talking about the art show. Your artwork can be anything. It can be from a painting, it can be an artistic cake, food, it can be cosplay, a flower arrangement, it can be digital art, it can be anything you can think of. The art show will be taking place on Thursday, May 10th from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. And don't forget, prizes will be given to first, second, and third place. Your artwork has to be turned into Mrs. Santos Wednesday morning on May 9th. Submission forms are available now in the Library Media Center in Ms. Santos' room 817. Submission forms are due May 7th. Here's a picture of last year's winners and footage of last year's art show. Thanks for watching. This has been this week's school events. Hi, I'm Veronica Torres. And I'm Carolina Cisneros. And you're watching Field Trip Highlights. On April 16th, the DDC and Code Pathways loaded onto a bus and headed to Qualcomm, a technology company responsible for one of the first mobile phones and the ongoing creation of 5G. Sadly, we were not allowed to film inside. The Pathways' next destination was San Diego State University. San Diego State was founded on March 13, 1897. Its tuition is roughly $24,223 a year. At the end of the tour, we interviewed our guide and SDSU ambassador, Jasmine. Hello, I'm Carolina Cisneros, and I'm here with Jasmine, our guide and ambassador of San Diego State University. So Jasmine, what are some of the majors that you have here? So some of our most popular majors include hospitality and tourism management, just because San Diego is such a, a tourist destination. Um, we also have our nursing majors that are very popular. Our business college is also doing very well. Our uh, social services programs, we have some master's programs that are really great for that. And our engineering programs have also done really well. So I would say most of our major programs here at SCSU are really great programs. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to the students that want to come here? Um, I would say that San Diego State is a great place to not only further your education, but also further your education about yourself. Um, it's a really great place where you can figure out who you are and who you want to be. Um, and you can meet a lot of people through your organization participation here um, that can help you get in those roles and help you do what you want to do. Okay, thank you, Jasmine. Thank you. And that's all for this week's Highlights, Grizzlies. Hey Grizzlies, my name is Corey Cantrell and you're watching School Events, Ninja Edition. Last Saturday was the annual Winter Lion competition held in Bakersfield. Melina Williams was there and she is going to tell us about the Winter Lion Championships. Hey Grizzlies, I hope you'll be happy to know that your Winter Lion did a great job of representing your school on Saturday, April 14th, placing second out of seven schools. Their show was entitled Ninja, and as you could probably guess, the show was about ninjas. This team practiced for six or more hours a week for three months. Now you might not think that is a lot, but trust me when I say it is. For seniors Alvaro Reyes, Carlos Chavez, Steven Land, Carlos Abarca, Brisa Carranza and Eddie Martinez, this was their last time competing with their team. Thank you all for a great season and representing Granite in a great way. I, along with many others, appreciate your hard work and dedication to the Granite Hills Band. Back to you, Corey. Well, that's it for this week, this week. Until next time. Hey there, Grizzlies. My name is Rocio. This week, we'll be doing the Whisper Chat. I'm here with Juliana. Isaiah. Isaiah. Victoria. Whisper. Reese. 
Witherspoon. Reese Google. Reese Witherspoon. What? Okay, Max. Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. Blue Panda. Call for my dad. Kung Fu Panda. Are you mad? Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda. Con. Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda. What? Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda. Offline. Kung Fu Panda. You have a pass. That's it for this week's challenge. Hey Grizzly, I'm Paul. And I'm John Harrow. And welcome to this week's Some Facts. This week we'll be giving you fun facts about Granny. Not that type of Granny. Granny Hills High School. Compared to other PUSD schools, Granite has one of the greenest and cleanest campuses. There's the myth around school that says where people are saying that Granite was originally built to be a prison. Well, I'm here to tell you that Granite was originally built to be a school. Currently, there are 1,354 students enrolled in Granite Hills High School. For those who don't know, Granite Hills High School was built in 1999. Well, that's it for this week's Grizzlies. See you next time. Hey, what's up ladies and gents? You have a good day? You have a good week? Did you do your cast? Did you do your SATs? Well, that's good because we're back at it again with another movie review. And today we'll be reviewing... Okay, so I know you guys saw that. Our sound room is literally falling apart. Look at this, there's hair on the ceiling. Who's Mario jumping their head up <laughs> into the ceiling? Forget it, forget it, forget it, Hey, forget it. All right, take two, take two. Um, today we're going to be reviewing Man, oh man, I can't wait to see this good movie at the Porterville Movie Theater. You know what I'm saying, Jaime? I know what you're saying, Billy. Hey, Jaime, what do you say we turn off our phones and respect the other patrons around us so they can enjoy the movie, too? I like that idea, Billy. That is a great idea. Beep, beep. Well, now that that's done, let's enjoy this wonderful movie. Hey boys, good day for a movie, isn't it? Okay, so this part isn't really the movie's fault. Well, yeah it is. I mean, like, it's really quiet in the beginning, right? So, like, you can't even fart. Like, you can't even... Okay, so my first main gripe about the movie is that the entire first half is in subtitles. And it's kind of kind of boring. I get it, it's supposed to be quiet. But the entire time, they're making loud enough noises for the monster to kill them. But the monster never kills them, and they just keep talking in subtitles. The second main thing with this movie is it's not really scary. I get up in the morning to go look in the bathroom mirror, and that's still more terrifying than what I saw in this movie. What are you going to rate it, Jaime? What are you going to rate it? Uh, What's the I'm, rating? I'm going to rate it a 5 out of 10. Uh, we'll see you next time, Grizzlies, when we put a fork in a toaster. Yeah. See you boys later. Have a good day. Hello, Grizzlies. I'm Jose Corona, and this is Records Broken in the 2017-2018 NBA regular season. Now here's Luis explaining more about those records. Number one, Donovan Mitchell broke the record for most three-pointers made by a rookie with 187. Number two, Russell Westbrook yet again averaged a triple-double for the entire season, making it the most seasons averaging a triple-double with two. Number three, James Harden had the most points in a triple-double with 60 against the Orlando Magic. Number four, LeBron James passed Michael Jordan for the most consecutive games with 10 plus points. Lastly, number five, 
Philadelphia 76ers had the longest win streak heading into the postseason with 16. These have been the records set in the regular season. Some amazing accolades by some amazing athletes. With the playoffs underway, we are sure yet to expect some amazing things. For more broken records, make sure to visit thedailyroar.net. That's our show for this week. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter us on Twitter, at DDStreakersMedia. This has been Vital Information for Your Everyday Life.